Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest The Lost Tales. And we've actually concluded our first story. We finished off Azran's tale. And if you guys haven't seen that already, definitely make sure you go check it out because oh my goodness, <laughs> it got exciting. So we are about to launch into our second side story and you guys, it was really close. It was one of the closest I've ever seen. We actually saw a win by just two votes, which is not a lot. And so let's go ahead and actually don't have, I didn't actually list the, um, the, the difficulty level. So we'll go ahead and hit begin quest, but uh, if we don't list the difficulty level, the default we go to is just challenging. And the wolf who won the poll by just an absolute hair is Gemini. So Gemini is the daughter of Andromeda. And let me actually give you guys a good look at her here. I forgot to do that last time. <laughs> and so this is what Gemini looks like. She's actually a very small wolf and she's very, very fast. So let me show you her stats real fast too. She has 30 strength, 50 stamina, and 70 speed. So she's definitely a very fast wolf who's not all that strong. And her challenge, oh boy, the elk is already going. Her challenge is that she has to chase off five bears over the course of her story. And if she manages to do that, she'll get a perk. If not, she will get some sort of consequence that will then take effect in season five. And because of that, we have to do the best we can. Now the catch is, Gemini is really, really scared of bears. She was actually almost killed by a bear as a pup. She was attacked and it just went badly and she almost didn't make it out. Thankfully, her uncle managed to save her just in the nick of time. But because of that, she's really, really scared of bears. And so every time we encounter a bear, we actually have to roll a dice to find out if she panics and has to run away. Now, there's a two in six chance that she'll panic and a four in six chance that uh, she won't. So that's gonna be one third versus two thirds. And um, we're gonna try not to use, like the, the rock over here, I think it is, is kind of known as the bear rock because there's usually bears. <laughs> and so we're gonna try not to take excessive advantage of this. If we happen to run by, was it this rock? So I guess the bear rock has not uh, has not not graced us with a bear today. So we're gonna try not to take excessive advantage of that. We're just gonna run around and see how many bears we happen to bump into. We can kind of wander by the spots where the bears tend to spawn, but we're not going to be going out of our way to to go by them constantly and we're not going to be using it like an exploit. <laughs> um, so we're going to have to to try and find bears if we can, kind of on our own. Oh, there's the elk herd. We didn't actually happen to have to send them out. Now, Gemini doesn't have to find a mate. We may not. We're going to be focusing on her main quest, but we are still going to do some, some of the normal wolfy things like hunting and stuff. And of course, hunting leaves carcasses, which can attract bears. Ow. That was very... I don't know, smart of the elk to run right by the others, but a little bit aggravating as well. Um, oh yeah, and if you guys like Gemini's story, definitely check out our Tea Public store because as with all of our other uh, Wolf Quest Lost Tales stories, we will be releasing an exclusive sticker for every wolf who gets a side story. So there's one for Azaran, and so there's going to be one for Gemini as well, and you guys can look in the description or in the comments to find that. So if you guys really like Gemini, make sure you check that out. Um, let's see here. We're gonna try and take this elk down. I don't actually know all the bear spawn points, so we'll probably just end up kind of wandering around, seeing if we bump into any. We'll probably linger a little bit on this, the other side of the map there where we're headed towards, because there do tend to be more bears over there. There are some spawn points. We often find them along, um, along like the, uh, by the pond. Like if we look on the map, you can see that high ridge pond, that tends to spawn a lot of bears. So we'll probably end up hanging out in an area where we can run by those areas if we need to, but like we're not gonna be doing the, the whole idea of running, backing up and then coming back and trying to get it to spawn again. We'll kind of, we'll, we'll make them part of our, our patrolling, but we're not going to linger there as long as we can to try and get a bunch of bears to spawn. We have to run around and do some other wolfy things as well, because otherwise that's kind of just cheap. <laughs> and we won't have much of a story if we're just focusing entirely on trying to get the bears to spawn. 
So I do have a dice roller on my phone here that I'll be using in case we do happen to run into a bear. And uh, so we'll probably take a swing by the pond real fast and just kind of kind of loop by there. We'll have her we'll have her kind of loop by there and investigate the other territory because we might have her find a mate. It really just depends on what she's doing. She's I don't feel like she's a very confident wolf. She's a little bit more reserved. She's kind of more like Kaya in some respects. She's a little bit shy, a little bit quiet, and not really super bold and outgoing. Um, she she takes a little bit more after Andromeda, definitely of Nova and Andromeda. Andromeda was a little bit more reserved, whereas Nova, of course, was super exuberant. <laughs> and uh, so together they made a really good team, but at the same time, there's that definite difference in personality. And so we're actually not finding any bears. That's a little bit concerning. <laughs> Um, but we're gonna we're gonna wander over here to the stranger wolf territory because I feel like she would at least want to know who's there and kind of know who she's dealing with. She's not much of a fighter. She's not super aggressive or anything. So she does just kind of want to get a feel for um, who is here and and what they're up to and all that. She she wants to know who she's wandering around in the territories near. Please don't do this to me, computer. Um, all right, so there should be, ooh, there's another wolf here who looks a lot like her, actually. And in fact, that resemblance probably isn't an accident. They do look a lot alike. Computer, if you could not, I would appreciate it. Um, I think she kind of just wait and see. Oh, he's going to submit. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I think she'd probably kind of just wait and see what he does. She's not going to be super dominant. He's going to leave. Okay. But it's probably no accident that they look a lot alike because if I remember correctly, Terrell, the, basically the, the great patriarch of the pack, our first, uh, our first male leader was from the Slough pack over here, if I remember correctly. And so that color pattern is no accident. Terrell is, oh goodness, <laughs> let's go back. I think she's, I think, I think Gemini is Terrell's great granddaughter. If, yeah, cause Andromeda is her mom, Kaya is her grandma, and then that would make Terrell her, her great grandfather. So yeah, they're separated by about three generations. And, uh, so Terrell was the Maida Katari, who is basically the first, the first wolf we ever played as, actually. <laughs> the very, the origin of our, our Wolf Quest series here. And, oh, here's a coyote. We're going to chase this guy down for sure. Um, I don't think, uh, that's the one thing I don't think Gemini would have any qualms about is taking down these coyotes. <laughs> um, but... Uh, so yeah, uh, so Terrell was her, was Katari's mate, and because of that, I, it's not surprising, because he looked like this too, it's not surprising that his looks have passed down through the generations, and so it seems like they've done so from his birth pack as well, and we're seeing very similar kind of, um, we're seeing very similar color patterns, and okay, if we go by this rock, oh, there is a bear, okay, so I'm gonna roll my dice, and we got a six, so we're good to go. We can run in here, and he ran right away. That is a very skittish grizzly. <laughs> Normally they take at least two or three bites to chase off, but we got a little bit lucky. And maybe that'll give Gemini a bit of a boost of confidence. So that is one bear chased. And uh, so we'll have to, uh, we'll make our way over here to the Druid territory. Not that Gemini really knows it's the Druid territory. And the thing with the Druids is that we actually, during the era of the Galaxy Pack, they got uh, chased off, especially in Slough Creek. And uh, they, they got chased off and they got greatly weakened. And right now, in this time period... The original leaders have basically died off, and so you're not going to be seeing quite the strength that you used to. However, they are still very strong fighting wolves, so I think in a one-on-one -on -one like this, Gemini is probably not going to have such good luck. Uh, nevertheless, she needs to see who who, who else is here in, on the mountain with her, and uh, she needs to see uh, what exactly she's looking at here. And... I don't actually think we're probably going to have her raise pups. We'll see. 
but I'm kind of planning on having her run around here in the mountain area. I guess it's going to depend on if and when she finds a mate. Uh, because I think we'll have her run around in the mountain area. Oh, who's this? This is a druid male. Okay, so this is a... <laughs> this guy is not nice news. This is the... Uh, this is the male leader of the druids, and you can see he says, make my day. He's ready for a fight, and she's going to wait for him. He's just straight up attacking her. I think she would just straight up be like, okay, nope, and bolt for it. She's not even going to stop to submit. She's just going to turn around and book it. <laughs> uh, she, she doesn't want anything to do with that. She doesn't want to have to deal with him. She's just going to book it off this way and be like, okay, yeah, we know we're staying away from here now. She's not an aggressive wolf. She's not going to come fight these guys. She doesn't have to. So we'll, we'll, let her, uh, we'll let her go her own way, and she's not going to deal with them. So uh, that would probably be one of the younger members of the druids. He looks a lot like the original male leader, and of course, this game doesn't account for passage of time, so that's to be expected. <laughs> uh, but the Druid Pack has long been known as a very fierce, very vicious pack who defends their territory and is extremely strong and will, will fight you and take you down if given the chance. And they actually were a very strong pack in real life. They've since disbanded. Uh, they got scattered, I believe. Um, not at, since the time this game came out. When, they, when the game came out, they were still a current pack, I believe. But they did end up getting scattered. And so they no longer are, they're, they're, they've split up throughout the different packs. I think there's still descendants in Yellowstone, but the Druid pack itself no longer exists. But they were a very strong pack at the time, and uh, for a long time they, they held a big territory. And that's a cougar. Okay, we're gonna see. Where is this cougar heading? I don't know. I don't think Gemini would be quite as skittish a cougars, but I don't also know if she'd actually be able to chase one down. <laughs> Except these guys can go pretty fast as well. I feel like she might at least chase one for a bit, but um, I don't think she would probably actually end up chasing it down completely or killing it because they are quite, uh, unless they are quite strong, but the one thing she might be able to do is if we can find where it went... Oh, it, it's running right up to the, the elk. <laughs> um, so cougars, the best way of killing them is to chase them straight through an elk herd like that. And uh, because of that, there we go, uh, it, it can, it's actually not super difficult to kill them. This, this cougar is like, doing its self-harm pretty much at this point. Um, and this is actually a tactic she likely would have learned from her uncle Nova because Nova was actually rather known for chasing down and killing cougars. Uh, he killed, I think, four or five of them over the course of his lifetime. He was a very, uh, very... Well, he kind of... It's just running in circles now. Um, he was very, very smart wolf, but he was also kind of... Um, oh, we chased it. Okay, let's see. Oh, I shouldn't have actually done that then because I don't think now... Will actually be able to kill it. Yeah, it's gone. I'm pretty sure. Is it gone? I think it's gone. <laughs> um, so yeah, but I don't know that Gemini would be quite so determined to to kill the cougar anyway. I think she probably, if she could, yeah, because cougars are competition, and I don't think you would see a wolf actually going to that length to kill a cougar in real life. Um, I don't think they're quite that strategic, but um, in any case. Uh, that is a strategy she would have learned from her uncle, and I think she would would give it her best shot when given the chance like that. I didn't actually expect we'd see many cougars, because they tend to come out at dawn and dusk, and uh, I didn't think we were going to bump into one. So we'll probably actually head up this way, because um, we want to see what the other pack is, and we're probably going to at least visit all of the packs, and kind of see... She definitely knows the Slough territory is, like, the wolves there maybe aren't quite as aggressive where, as the druids are really aggressive, and so she's going to avoid them, but she might tend to hang out more in slough territory, and it's probably going to depend. We'll have to see how this pack up here ends up treating her, if they tend to be super aggressive too, or if they're a little bit more, a uh, little bit more submissive and a little bit more laid back about things. That's probably going to determine where she ends up going and kind of hanging out. The fact that the Slough territory is open and uh, not super aggressive towards her is good news for us, 
because um, we will be able then to go hang out by that pond. We'll have a good reason to kind of be in the vicinity of that pond. If we can find a reason to hang around, then we'll probably end up in the general area quite a lot. Um, but if we don't have a good reason to hang around, then we're not going to go out of our way to be walking by the bear spawn points. Because, of course, that's not how it works in real life. Uh, animals don't spawn. They happen to be where they are, and they'll wander around and such not. And that's, I think, how it's looking like the new system in Wolf Quest 3 is going to work. And so that'll be super exciting. It won't just be, uh... Oh, there's these spawn points. I think the animals will actually spawn in and then their behavior will simulate over time as they move around. And so it won't just be like they spawn and then despawn depending on where, where you go and, and what happens with that. Alright, so we're here in another territory. There's another carcass up here. I think we're going to stop there and see if we can get a bite to eat. And then we'll have to see if we can find the other wolves who live here. Oh, we actually just did. And we'll see how this territory treats us, because even though Gemini has a specific goal and challenge, she is also still going to be looking for a mate. Whether we'll see that in her journey is one thing, but here's a specimen male, so I think she kind of just wait and see what happens. And he's also very submissive, so I feel like that would bode well, and so she'll stay put. And if he, is he going to run off? I think he will. Yep, he is going to run off. And so she actually is, <laughs> it's kind of funny, Gemini is not a super, she's not, okay, we got to continue our quest. She's not a super bossy wolf, she's not a super aggressive wolf, yet she has pack wolves running away from her. <laughs> um, so she'll probably end up hanging out at this territory and at the slough territory down there, and probably kind of bouncing back and forth between the two of them. As, as she continues on her quest. But, you know, so ev the eventual goal of every wolf is going to be to pass on its genes. And so I think it's safe to say that even though Gemini is here looking for a mate, we just may or may not see it. So it might happen after the story here ends, or it might happen during it. It just is kind of getting dependent. I think it, that pop-up means that... Where's our experience? Yeah, we actually have enough to find a mate already. And so if we do happen to find a dispersal then we very easily could see Gemini taking a mate, but if we don't, then, uh, I, or if we, even if we do and she does decide she doesn't really like the wolf for whatever reason, uh, because I feel like Gemini would be a little bit more cautious when it comes to taking a mate. Uh, we've seen some wolves show more or less caution. It kind of just depends on the, the vibe you get from the wolves as you first interact with them. And I don't know why that hair carcass pop-up comes up like that. It's a little bit of a glitch, I think. Um, but it, it does that sometimes. It generally, I think it goes away when you target something else. So if we, like, if we target this carcass, I think it will go away. If we come over here and eat from this carcass. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know if we'll see Gemini take a mate or not. It's really just going to depend on how her story goes. That's a coyote. That's something she's definitely going to chase off. And uh, definitely going to take down if she can, because coyotes are competition, and so it's an instinctive, an instinctive rivalry between wolves and coyotes. They they don't get along, and we've seen the coyotes have gotten quite a lot of an upgrade in the uh, three in the Wolf Quest three version from what we've seen. Uh, they actually posted a video a couple weeks back of the coyotes being a lot smarter, and they won't just run off like that in the next update. They'll actually kind of linger around, and they might even try and harass you and, like, bite at you if you're, um, what's that? Is that just another carcass spawning in? I think, oh, it's a, it's a moose carcass, okay. But they might actually come and harass you if they think they have a chance of chasing you off your carcass. Um, let's see here. This is a fox. I don't really know that I want to, to kill the fox. Probably... Gemini might actually stand a chance because she is pretty fast, but I think she'd probably just chase it clear off this way and be like, hey, no, you don't get to eat my carcasses, even though she does have quite a few of them. Um, but I think she'll probably end up spending a lot of time just bouncing back and forth between Slough and, um, and, uh, is that, oh, here's a coyote. We'll, we'll try and take down the coyote. Um, but she'll probably end up uh, bouncing back and forth between Slough and, what is the other pack? Um... And now I can't remember their name. The one that's up on the mountain. Whichever pack that is, she'll probably end up bouncing back and forth between those territories. 
And it is about time to wrap up the episode, but I think we're just going to wander into this other territory over here and into the Slough territory and just see if we can happen to find a mate. And I did talk about the family lines here, but it's been such a distance that we've had that, um, for one thing, there's only three packs in Wolf Quest, and so there's, um, probably going to be some intermingling of lines at some point. But for another, there, that's not to say that the wolves that we're meeting, the dispersals here, are necessarily from that pack. They could be dispersals from other packs that have wandered here like we have. Like, I mean, Gemini is from the Galaxy pack. That's not a pack that's here in Yellowstone, or in, in this part of Yellowstone in the game. They could be wolves that have wandered in from other parts of Yellowstone. Okay, we've got a dispersal male, but uh-oh. I don't think we're probably going to take this guy as our mate because look at, you can see, if you're looking at him here, you can see he actually has mange. And that's not a good thing. That mange is, a, mange is an infectious disease caused by mites that causes a lot of skin irritation and it can cause more problems, especially if wolves end up having a weakened or compromised immune system for whatever reason. And it can be really bad for pups. So I feel like she might kind of get in here and kind of catch a whiff of the fact that something's not quite right about this guy and might actually might actually kind of growl at him a little bit. Yeah, he ran. <laughs> um, because I think she'd just be able to sense that there's something a little bit off. Now, a lot of you guys have wanted us to have taking a mate as, uh, or taking a mate that has mange as a challenge. And that is something we may do in the future, but there actually is, a, that's also something we've worked into the next round of voting. There's actually a wolf with mange as a potential option. So she is up as potential, uh, potential heir at this point. We'll take a swing by with the bear pond up here <laughs> and just see kind of on our way back. Um, but we're not going to do that with Gemini because she has an existing challenge. It may be something that happens in the future. And of course, if you guys do end up voting for Athena, that will be a challenge that we have to work with because of uh, her having caught mange. But we're not going to do it with Gemini because Gemini is uh, already has an existing challenge. She's going to be working on the bear, um, on her bear challenge here. And let's see. Oh, there is a bear. Okay, let's go ahead and roll the dice. And nope, we're not allowed to chase this bear. She got spooked and she's going to run for it. And so we're going to run back down here. And I think we'll probably run all the way down to that moose carcass there because uh, for whatever reason, something about that bear just, just spooked her and it reminded her of the bear that attacked her as a pup. And she decided, nope, she's having none of it. And so we're going to run away. So that's two bears encountered, one chased off, four left to go. So let's come down here. I think there's a fox eating this carcass too, but we'll leave it alone for now. And we're actually going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.